Science. This is how the Great Pyramid of Giza would probably have looked when it was built some four and a half thousand years ago. A French architect who's campaigning for a new exploration of the structure says he may have discovered the existence of two previously unsuspected rooms. Antechambers next to the final resting place of the pharaoh Khufu. Jean-Pierre Houdin believes that thanks to 3D simulation and clues gathered at the pyramid itself, he's been able to piece together the pharaoh's last journey. He transposed the antechambers of another pyramid built just beforehand. It all fitted and explained how the workers and priests left the construction after the funeral. Voilà, uh... After 12 years of research, 35,000 hours of work on this pyramid and the others, I'm convinced that there are two rooms, these two antechambers in the pyramid. Now we have to leave the virtual for the real. We need to go inside the site. But three years ago, Houdin had an application to explore the pyramid turned down by Egypt's authorities. He claims the two rooms would have been used to hold furniture for use in the afterlife, as was the case in other tombs. As well, blocks in the northern wall of the king's chamber in the Great Pyramid indicate an overlooked passage which led to the new rooms and also enabled the funeral party to leave. Now, a Canadian team is seeking permission to carry out thermal imaging from outside the pyramid. 